I want to turn now to our Elizabeth Palmer, who's on the ground in Paris at this very moment. Elizabeth, what can you tell us? Well, the details are still emerging. Uh, eyewitnesses say two men opened fire on the Champs-Élysées. It is a very busy, very fancy shopping street in France. Uh, at the moment, apparently one person is dead, we believe a policeman. Uh, another one is injured, and uh, there are also unconfirmed police reports saying that one of the shooters it, was also himself shot. Uh, that's about all we know right now, uh, but this is going to rock the political uh, world of France. The first round of the presidential elections is on Sunday. One of the main uh, candidates is running hard on a law and order ticket, going very hard on terrorism. Uh, and, of course, everybody is wondering whether this incident, if it turns out to be a terrorist attack, uh, whether it's going to change people's behavior at the polls on Sunday and therefore change uh, the next four years in France dramatically. It's fascinating, Elizabeth, because the, the man who I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, who's leading in the polls, Emmanuel Macron, we just got word that President Obama had reached out and phoned him today. His, his spokesperson saying it's not an endorsement of any kind, but uh, he is pro-European Union. Give us a sense of the politics right now. You were saying that could be a factor. We also were hearing from France 24, their journalists there saying that there was a sense that there was some intelligence, that something could be happening. Uh, there could be some sort of act of violence against one of those candidates. What are you hearing about that? Well, ever since uh, the terrible attacks in, in Paris uh, at the Bataclan nightclub and several restaurants, rumors run wild in this country. Um, and, of course, there have been subsequent attacks. Uh, just a few days ago, two men were arrested in Marseille who apparently were uh, seriously planning an attack to the extent that they had uh, the materials for explosives hidden at home. Uh, they had planned to film their attack, so they had GoPro cameras. Um, and uh, so everybody is on edge, almost permanently on edge, but since that arrest uh, earlier uh, in the week, more on edge. Um, and, and, the, and tensions are running very high because this has been a very contentious election campaign. Marine Le Pen of the far right, representing the National Front, has, as I said, run on a, a very um, conservative and hardline anti-immigration, anti-terrorism uh, ticket. Um, and already analysts are wondering whether uh, tonight's incident, and maybe it was a terrorist attack, uh, will swing the vote in her favor, or perhaps uh, maybe not. Maybe uh, people will decide that they want a centrist, somebody who isn't quite so hot-headed, whose rhetoric isn't so volatile uh, to be in charge for the next few years. In that case, it may well um, uh, favor Emmanuel Macron, who, as you said earlier, is a, at the current moment the leader in the race. And Elizabeth, as you mentioned, this could potentially swing one of two ways, because while this is uh, the early indication is this could be a, a terror attack of some sort, the, uh, there were reportedly a very fast response from police officials, and we can see um, a real convoy of ambulances and other security v uh, vehicles uh, with the Arc de Triomphe in the distance there on uh, Avenue des Champs-Élysées. So, where is the momentum in the election? Is uh, Marine Le Pen with the National Front gaining steam, or does it appear to be moving in the other direction amid this this uh, shooting? Well, it's a pretty tight race, and of course, uh, polls uh, in recent political history everywhere have been less than reliable. But this morning, uh, support for Le Pen seemed to be weakening a little bit. Um, she's got a particularly strong base in areas that have been hit hard by uh, factories closing, areas where people are poor, rural areas. Um, but her, her support did seem to be softening. I guess we'll uh, know by the morning, after the pollsters have done their work overnight, whether this has firmed it up. Um, and of course, all the political candidates are going to be consulting very hard on how to play their message tomorrow, which is the very last day uh, they're allowed to be politically active and speaking to the public before the actual uh, election on Sunday. Elizabeth Palmer in Paris for us. Elizabeth, thank you for joining us.